Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I'm not going to be on here very long. I just wanted to share something with you, family. And um, I'm really sincere from the bottom of my heart. And this is my opinion, my opinion alone. And I'm sure some of you out there would agree with me. Um, just like it's going to be a, a bunch of you out there that don't. What I wanted to talk about right now is voting. You know, I was watching some, just looking at a few other sites and uh, listening to commentaries from a few uh, YouTube creators and a few shows. And they're talking about, you know, as black people, why we shouldn't vote and why we should pretty much basically just cut ourselves out of anything that has to do with America and do for ourself and, um, you know, pretty much uh, just don't be involved in anything, whether it's on the political aspect uh, or um, local or national, I would assume. Um, but participating in her is almost like a co-signing of you like to be duped or you're just buying into something that is, you know, ridiculous and an afterthought. Well, I truly do believe that local politics are very important. Um, I've seen how local politics work firsthand. Um, I do believe that if we can eat, select who we elect, <laughs> then we'll better have a better outcome. But I also believe that black people are politically retarded. And I also think because we don't do enough research on our political parties or we don't have any political demands on the party that we assume, then it makes it easy for us to be manipulated. And what I mean by that is I hear a lot of people saying that we shouldn't vote. And again, how ridiculous that is and cutting yourself out of pretty much cutting your opinion out, period. Um, and I thought about that as I began the process of getting ready to serve on a jury. In my state, the jury pool comes from registered voters. And I think that's very important. So at the same time, you got a lot of people complaining about having all white juries for black men or if a black man is convicted of something or a black woman or Latino or it doesn't matter, a person of color or a poor white person for that matter, um, but specifically black, then they would want them to have a person that they at least felt a jury of their peers or somebody that maybe can relate to them or um, looks like them. It's real easy continually today to continue to have these all white juries, which I think is unacceptable when you have um, a black person that's being a defendant of any type of anything. I just think it's ludicrous. I think it's counterproductive. And I think it's uh, sending the message that you are trying to be uh, served injustice. OK. <sighs> Somebody said that the reason why this, uh, the, the scales of justice is blind and the reason why she wears the, uh, the scarf around her eyes is because she doesn't even want to see all the bullshit that goes on inside. So I don't want to think that way. <laughs> but it's, you know, in a lot of cases and scenarios, you would have to admit that's the truth. But what I want to say is you can't give up when you live in America. You have to participate any way you can because you can't have it both ways. You can't complain about an all-white jury convicting a black man or a black woman or uh, a poor person when you had the ability to serve on a jury, but because you didn't even make your name available in the jury pool because you didn't vote then that means that your service was not even used. 
And I think that that's a travesty to the person um, that looks like you and who is relying on you to at least uh, be an objective person uh, on the jury. So I'm saying that to say when you hear these people saying that you shouldn't vote, you know, you do what you want to do. Do what you feel convicted to do. Me personally, I vote my interest. If I don't see any candidate serving any interest that I want, I'm not bothering about voting for them. OK, period. Um, local politics, I take very serious because that is that is going to affect my immediate. When I go to, if I get pulled over, if I have to go to jail or if I have to uh, face a district attorney who's a racist or uh, judges who are racist, I think it's very important to point them out and get them off the benches as soon as possible. And that can only happen when we vote. So I'm saying that to say, as I serve on these, this jury for the next three days, it's something I take very seriously. I hope I get an exciting case. Um, this is going to be my fifth time. Actually, two times I served as a reserve and twice I served as a regular juror and I will be serving as a regular juror again. And I take it very seriously. In fact, it's one of the only times that I feel like I'm I'm really an American. If I must say it, it's the first it's the only time I feel included. I feel for a split second like I matter. To the powers that be. And I have power. So I intend to exercise it. Now I'm sure there's a lot of y'all say. What? Blah blah blah. And you know you're entitled to your opinion. This is just mine. Okay. So again. I would encourage you to vote. If it's for nothing. But you keep in mind. That somebody. That's as a dependent. Um, I'm sorry. Defendant. Is dependent on you to look at something objectively that may some the way somebody else may not even bother to look because they're used to voting status quo or used to voting uh, what their grandfathers were compelled to vote. At least I will be a voice in there that will disrupt all of that. Okay, so I thought I'd make that point. And um, I'll come back a little later. So if you like what you hear, please subscribe. And we'll talk later in the mental house. Bye-bye.